Center. New at 530, the longest day of the year is this week. Meteorologist Evan Stewart explains the summer solstice and how much daylight we'll see. This Thursday is the summer solstice, the start of astronomical summer, the longest day of the year, at least the day that we see the most sunlight, clocking in at over 15 hours of sunlight. So what's going on in the solar system? Well, as you know, the Earth rotates around the sun in this elliptical orbit. It goes counterclockwise, and it takes roughly 365 and one quarter days or a year for that to happen. Now, the shortest day of the year is December 21st. That's the winter solstice, and the time that we see some of the equal parts Parts of day and night, the equinoxes, the vernal equinox on March 19th, and the autumnal equinox on September 22nd, give or take a day, depending on the days in the year, especially if it's a leap year like this year. This year, the summer solstice occurs on June 20th at 4.50 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. That's when we have the most sunlight. As a matter of fact, we're clocking in at over 15 hours and 17 minutes. Now, solstice derives from the Latin terms sol, meaning sun, and sistere, meaning to stand still because these are some of the longest days of the year, right around that summer solstice. Of course, after June 20th, we start to lose daylight. As a matter of fact, all the way until the winter solstice, when we're down to only nine hours and five minutes of sunlight. Of course, in the summertime, the Earth is tilted towards the sun, and we get those direct rays from the sun that helps the heat things up. Of course, it takes a little while for that to happen. It takes a while for the ground and the water to really start to heat up, so our hottest days are yet to come. That's usually in mid-July. For 13 News Now, I'm meteorologist Evan Stewart.